Is Uber ripping off drivers on surges? Let's talk about it. Welcome everyone and happy Tuesday morning. People continue to complain that I slurp my coffee, I munch my cherries, and I slobber over my olives. <laughs> Learn to live with it. Mm. It's part of the down-home feel of the Uber Hints channel. Today's video originated with an email I got from one of our viewers, Sean. Thank you, Sean. And it actually referenced a video with our good friend Rideshare Revolution down there in Chicago. And he's griping about surges. And good Lord, what he discovered is that riders are being charged surges, sometimes multiples, as much as two times and more. And in Chicago, that can be a lot of money. And he's only seeing like four and a half dollars surge or sometimes no surge at all. And he's up in arms about this. And our friend Sean said, you know, the same thing's happening out by us. This, in my mind, is the biggest non-issue I have come across. Um, I mean, Ray Charles could have seen this one coming. Once Uber went to the flat fare, and then once they went to a flat uh, surge rate, no longer a multiplier, all bets are off. No longer is Uber required to make the payment to drivers have anything at all, no relationship whatsoever with what they charge the rider. There is no longer any correlation. It used to be years ago we signed contract for 20%, 25%. Now we have flat fees and our Payment is based on miles and time. I don't know what to say about this one because it's one of these things, did we have blinders on? We didn't realize this was happening. Gio's down there in Chicago and he's shocked by this. This guy that drives 23 and a half hours a day. But regardless, I, I mean, I, what, what's the surprise here? I haven't watched it, but I believe that Kevin over at The Entrepreneur has made a video on this as well. And I don't know, am I the only one that looks at this and said, yeah, you know, drivers, you made your bed, sleep in it. I hate to be so flippant about this, but this should not come off as a surprise to anybody. We saw this coming. Once they decided we are going to give you just a flat rate, we're no longer working on a multiplier, that flat rate can be whatever they darn well please. I mean, it's, it's based on nothing. It's arbitrary. So I'm sorry. I just hate to, um, I hate to, to come off as being someone that's being dismissive of this. But there really is very little to comment on here. I, I don't know. What do you want? What do you expect Uber to do? Whatever it is, they're not going to do it because you know they are in full-fledged money-grabbing mode right now. Uber simply is looking for ways that they can get more and more and more money. They have to show a profit. They are going into IPO and it's not going to stop here. They are going to find every single way to scrape the bottom of the barrel and get every last penny. Before long, I'll tell you what Uber is going to do. They're going to tell all drivers to feel in between the back seats of your car and find your loose change and mail it into them because it belonged to them, not you, because it was their passenger. On the thumbnail for this video, you'll see a picture of a scorpion stinging a frog. And that goes back to the old Russian morality tale. If you haven't heard about it very quickly, a scorpion wanted to cross a pond. And it asked the frog if he could climb on his back and if the frog would swim across the pond. And the frog said, no, you'll sting me, I'll die. And the scorpion convinced the frog. He said, if I sting you and you die, we'll both drown. So the frog convinced, let the scorpion get on his back. And the frog started swimming across the pond. Sure enough, before long, the scorpion stung the frog. And as the frog was dying and he was sinking into the water, he said, why did you sting me? Now we'll both die. And the scorpion said, because I'm a scorpion. 
That's what I do. And you know, we should know by now, that's what Uber does. Uber is the scorpion. We've seen it time and time again. And for some reason, we're surprised. We're shocked. We're outraged every time it happens. At some point, the frog has to say enough. I'm not going to do it anymore. And I know that's easy for me because a week ago I walked away. But it's just hard to look at these stories and continually be surprised. Now the question is, is Uber going to suffer the same fate as the frog in our tail? In stinging the drivers, is Uber going to cause its own demise? So, you know, I, I wish I had more to say on this one, but I'm telling you, this is an absolute non-issue because we do not have a leg to stand on. They took away destinations filter. Now, they didn't take away destinations filter, but if we use it, they are pulling 30, 40, 50% of the money from that destinations filter. So there's no point in using it. Some of the most profitable rides that I had were setting that destinations filter to the airport and getting a good chunk of change. Now there's no point to it. Now they're cutting into surges. A lot of you said, no, I love the new surge. Well, look what they're doing now. You said I was making a lot of money because uh, you know, I would get that, uh, that flat fee. And then other people are saying, well, on long rides, I no longer get the multiplier. Once they pull that multiplier, they can charge the customer what they want. So what's left to say? Am I the only one here that's not shocked, that's not surprised? Leave your comments down below. As always, I encourage you to like and share the videos. If you haven't already, please subscribe, ring that bell icon so you know when we have new videos. I don't know. I'm not going to lose any sleep over this one. Thanks, everyone. I'm Mark with a rinse. Slurp.